In order to rescue abductees whose human rights are being violated, further coordination with the international community is needed. The families of the victims took their mission overseas. Beginning in 2006, they met with U.S. President George W. Bush, as well as presidents that followed him, and conveyed the wishes of the Japanese abductees' families for them to mediate resolution of the abductions issue. <laughs> Megumi's brother, Yokota Takuya, is active in their overseas efforts. I brought a doll that Megumi had played with up until the year of her abduction. She was abducted at a time when she should have been enjoying her childhood, and she's endured 40 years in captivity. Since 2016, he's taken part in symposiums held at the UN headquarters in New York in order to advocate the resolution of the abductions issue to the international community. I'm not sure how long our parents will be around to wait for her. We ask that you focus your courage to fight alongside us. I would like to tell Kim Jong-un, it's the time to thoroughly resolve the abductions issue. In June 2022, an online UN symposium on the abductions issue was held, co-hosted by the governments of Japan, the US, Australia and the European Union. The families of suspected abductees from other nations, including the US and Thailand, also participated. David Snedden, is an American student from Utah who disappeared when he was 24. While studying abroad in China, he went missing in Yunnan province in August 2004. He is believed to have been abducted by North Korean agents. His older brother James spoke on his behalf. They had similar simple freedoms and pleasures, but th those activities were robbed of each in the youth or prime of life stolen, snatched, stripped, before life really began. Youthful lives muted, or rather muzzled, forcefully, painfully, ruthlessly, and to this day, silently, unless we act. Anocha Panchoi is from Chiang Mai in northern Thailand. She is believed to have been abducted by North Korea while traveling as a migrant worker in 1978. Anocha was represented by her nephew, Man Zhong. The people who understand our pain of having family abducted by North Korea and support us reassure me that there's still some hope left. Thanks to all of you here, I've managed to hold on to hope. Families of the victims from the U.S., South Korea, Thailand, and Romania understand the importance of international coordination and are working together. We've now followed through to a point where Kim Jong-un can no longer feign ignorance of the abductions issue and make excuses. The progress we've made internationally is something we intend to proactively continue.